Hey guys, and welcome back to Shimagami Tensei 5. Why? Why? Let me do the intro. Get out of here. Thank you. And he comes right back. Son of a gun. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Last time on this wonderful, wonderful game, we dueled Yakumo here in Chiyoda. He sort of just jumped us and started, like, talking about, like, worldviews. It was a lot, it was a little odd, even for this franchise. But in the resulting battle, it was such an overwhelming landslide, we did not even get to see his signature attack. Hopefully, I now have footage of it. And in case I don't have a clip to play here, because he still won't use the move, enjoy the clip of a chimp's birthday party I just so happen to have. Galvanic Slash is Yakumo's signature attack and is the only elemental physical attack that is of the high nature, meaning it's super strong. But I don't know what the flag is for Yakumo to actually use it. Something's telling me that it's actually based on turn count. Dunno, but it does look cool. Ow, ow, I slipped and fell. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. Maybe uh, Gustav will have a band-aid. That could technically be a relic. If a Mimon bleeds, how do you know? They're covered in red. Okay. <laughs> I uh, don't want to pursue that uh, idea, but uh, yeah. Yakumo, kind of weird, even for this franchise. Who was that human just now? That was so scary. Luckily, uh, Mushawu was not caught in the crossfire. That's good. So, demons don't belong in this world? I suppose if that's true, it applies to proto-fiends like myself, correct? Our interference with Lamu's plot resulted in the deaths of two humans. Not only that, I've irrevocably changed your own life as well. Do you believe I belong with you? Or have I been a burden? All right then. I'm relieved you feel that way. I swear, I'll do everything in my power to protect you. A little bit of honestly powerful narration there from Algami. But really, man, if it weren't for you, we would have died to those Daimon at the start of the game. And even then, sure, we couldn't save Tao and Sahori. But legitimately, if we didn't deal with the threat at hand, way more casualties would have occurred. There is no way around it. Algami is a definite boon to at least the main character's life, but uh, just throwing my two cents out there. There really is no right or wrong answer. You can just select however you see fit, but uh, I know one thing for certain. These demons, I'm not a fan of. The Fallen, I had to go to the anal you know, analyze menu because sometimes this game tricks me. They're not actually Fallen, even though they are. Os, who is another demon of the Goeta and has uh, some armor, emphasis on some. He's got a little bracelets of chrome. He also has chrome on his uh, swords. Is there a blacksmith in hell? Who's arming all these dudes? I don't know, but I do know one thing. We currently don't have the best way to deal with this particular demon. There's a lot of holes in our strategy, so to speak. And uh, I'm gonna try and patch those up in this episode. Will it work? Dunno. I'm going to try and pacify them to the best of my ability though and uh, try and hit them with their weakness which is fire. We are down to a single fire gem. That is not ideal. Don't think it takes a brain surgeon to figure that out. I could swap Black Frost out here but honestly I don't even need to do that. Our main character can probably just deal with them if the sleep persists on Ose and yeah a lot of demons of the Goeta are animal in nature. Very understandable that uh, the Animal Kingdom would just be represented so thoroughly in just demon kind. Because, well, when you think about it, as long as human history has existed, animals have pretty much been there as well. And dealing with them and trying to fight against them has obviously been a big, you know, part of just human life on this earth. So it's only understandable that, you know, humans definitely fear animals that they would also become the demons. That's not necessarily in line with modern interpretations of Judeo-Christianity or really any form of Jewish belief. 
but it's in the game. And that's just sort of how SMT works. It really just takes the fringe, you know, esoteric beliefs and interjects them into the game. So in case you're not aware, no, Christians do not believe that there's a leopard guy in hell that's going to get them. <laughs> it's just uh, a byproduct of really a long history of just, you know, the religion and all that. But I thought I'd just, how can I not do this? Jeez. I thought I'd bring that up because I have to understand that even though a uh, majority of my fan base does reside in, you know, North America, I'd have to understand that there may be some people who've not heard of, you know, the finer points of Christianity as far as like S&T demons go. Demons, power, human knowledge. Thought was all we needed to be, now help you know again. We were wrong. Huh? What do you mean, we? The dump? I, I, I legit don't get that one, but uh, there's actually a really honestly powerful view around here. I'd be remiss not to show off. I'm trying to do my best to, uh, you know, this is a video after all. Gotta at least show off the sights, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> it's sure not the most colorful environment. Would you imagine the uh, field of Armageddon to be that? But it is a decent uh, look at the third, like, I guess partition of Chiyoda? I imagine they designed it like this, right? Like, here's your first, your second, your third, and assumedly your fourth. If we get past that, you know, firewall and all that. I guess they did that and just connected them with very, like, thin, like, strips of, like, a bridge. I guess in this area's instance. To reduce lag, because legitimately, this game, as impressive as it is, they definitely had to do specific hardware stuff to make sure, you know, everything ran at a decent frame rate. But, uh, now it's just, God, I just sound like such a nerd. Wow, the frame rate and you got the raftering. Let's get back to what I'm good at, all right? Fighting demons. And, uh, the battle for this abscess is... Dang, I just broke all their ankles. Even though Rajanaga probably doesn't have effing ankles. Next abscess here, not necessarily as, uh, interactive as the battle versus Hanuman and his backup dancers, but we do have a fan favorite demon, one of my faves, Kukulain of Irish folklore, a powerful warrior and user of Gay Bolg. Also, he has a lot of Zahn magic. We don't want to deal with that. And his right-hand lady, I guess, is Dakini, who is an entity I knew very little about. And uh, now I know arguably too much. If in case you're curious, it is a consort of sorts, that's hard to say, of Kali, and really I miss both of them, but on top of this, SMT often refers to her as a tantric deity or spirit. And uh, very fitting that we hit her with the charm. Don't Google this if you're a little kid, but Tantra is basically a form of sexual meditation between two consenting partners. It is a esoteric part of Hinduism and yeah, that's that's a lot to deal with. I, uh, it's a... <laughs> I just never knew. It's kind of nasty. I don't know. I'm no by no mean a, uh, what's it called? Prude. Well, legitimately, that's kind of strange to put an SMT, but it is a part of uh, Buddhist and Hindu lore to an extent. Not, not necessarily, I think, something practiced worldwide or just widespread, but it's there. Uh, stay charmed. Thank you. It's kind of a pain, though, that I actually missed that uh, sleep. Kukulain, if we don't take him down fast, his Mazan will pretty much like tear through my whole party. At the moment, our party needs a serious makeover, so in this episode, it's pretty much just going to be like, um, not entirely dedicated, right? But a lot of it is just fusing up new dudes, and I replaced the charm with the sleep. That's not what I wanted, son of a gun. How we're gonna work around this? We can fish for sexy dance again. Come on, Dakini. No, she. Ugh, this sucks. I guess Kukulain is, uh, just <laughs> unfazed. Dude, I got to hang out with Skaha. You think I care about you? Totally not. I wish Kukulain had that voice. I kid around a lot about the SMT dating sim game, but no, really. I want that to happen in your... Whoa, Alice survived? I'm... T what the... I always a picture to, uh, you know, Kukulain is the... You know, he's like the he's like the big guy on campus. You know, all the ladies love him. And some of the dudes. Atlas, hire me. I will write the game for you. I'll do it almost for free, dude. But 
Sadly, that is not the universe we live in. Instead, Kukulain wants to murder us, and I'm not a fan. Oh, dang! She was that the most hits we've had yet? I'm pretty darn sure. Not bad. There is a uh, specific talisman, though, for the Dragon Race, which hopefully we'll obtain somewhat soon, that can make, uh, basically force, die for me to hit up the maximum amount of times. Will we ever get that to uh, work? M probably not. What do we do here? I'll try Mirage Gem. My luck stat isn't super high, but if it connects, that uh, figures. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a pain. I just really don't want to deal with this guy right now. I need to like buff up and just. God dang it! Yeah, mid boss is understandably. Uh, do oh, thank you, bro. Gosh, uh, they are really susceptible to status. But as we've seen time and time again, they can happen if you have enough, you know, affinity with the status effect. But now that he's running solo. Kukulain, not really too much of a threat. We really just had to burst down uh, Dakini because she had access to Magion if she gets her Magasuhi skill, and that can kill me. It's one of the few things that our Belphegor's essence is actually susceptible to. What would be the smart thing to do here? Honestly, probably burn our Magasuhi gauge, but we don't really have full press turns yet. So instead, I'm just going to try and go for Black Draco Strike. But once we beat this, we should be in reasonable range to get uh, Summoner Hospitality 2, if I recall correctly. And that means it's time to do some fusing, and I'm kind of looking forward to that. In this part, we're going to make a uh, fan favorite demon, which I'm sure you already have some idea of. And I just I, It pains me so much when Alice is, like, hurting. It's a good thing it barely happens. She usually gets one shot, but look at her! I want to go home and watch cartoons. That sucks. I'm sorry, Alice. Wrap this up soon. <laughs> Is that also part of my fan canon? Alice just uh, loves violent uh, cartoons? Maybe. Perhaps a fan of Itchy and Scratchy, but... God, that is an old reference. Jeez. I mean, it's still sort of relevant, but God. What a sad reality. Imagine being a writer for that cartoon. Goodness, but... I can't really talk. I mean, is this really comedy gold either? <laughs> anyway, enough of uh, being harsh on myself. Yeah, I forgot to mention, he does resist uh, physical. That's why we're going for uh, all those almighty attacks and spells. We really got to round out our party, though, because I do need to take on a specific demon in this episode, which sadly reflects all physical attacks. But that's where Almighty Mastery 3 can definitely come in handy. We, uh... Would love to have that skill right away, but unfortunately, it's really expensive. Keep in mind, we already currently only possessed Almighty Mastery 1. So we gotta make some, you know, glory gains. And also some money in general. Because it's fusing time, baby. The first demon I want to make is a colossal Welcome waste of cash. But I want to summon him yeah. anyways, simply because it'll be funny. But then I'll revert my save so we get all of our, you know, demons and money back, so to speak. But we should be high enough level to finally add this demon to my party. I tried time and time again to make this like, oh, dude, we gotta have Belphegor. He's so good. In reality, that's just not the case, yo. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, that is why I made a safety save. But there are some demon conversations we can now view now that we have access to the demon of Peor. Belphegor. He looks very bored. I'd be honestly just doing you guys a disservice if I didn't show off these special combos, though. So, we're gonna make this guy revert, then make our new uh, healer demon, because we really need her. I believe this is our first tyrant. Was King Frost a tyrant? No, he totally was. So, we're a ways away from receiving the talisman for tyrants, but just know, it's a good one but also a bit on the pricey side. With this demon up by our side now, we're actually going to backtrack all the way to the first zone of Dot and talk to a demon we haven't really met in a really long time. So, meet you when I get there because, yeah, this trek might take a little bit. It sure has been a while since we've been here, but in Minato, if you head back, to the mermaid's watering hole, now that you've purified it, you can now see mermaid just chilling in the wild. They're not very friendly, though. They will attack you if you're low enough level, but uh, yeah, we're going to initiate a battle with them after we went through the trouble of saving them. To view this special scene with Belphegor in our party, we 
try to talk to the mermaid, which we normally never do, he'll step up and start talking to mermaid. Oh, you're... Uh. What about me? It seems you can control water. Yes, you're truly just what I've been looking for. Might I ask a favor of you? I don't know. I'm not sure if I can help anyone, but I guess I'll give it a try. What do you need me to do? Well, you see, uh, <laughs> things have gotten a bit clogged down there. Blow. Get a flush out these pipes for me. Flush out the pipes? I'll flush you to the darkest depths of the ocean! Uh, uh, wait, hold on a minute! If you sink me as I am now, I will be polluting the water on account of my... well... <laughs> uh. No, I could never let something like that out into the water. Oh, close call. Now then, if you could get the brown flowing down... <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up! Here, use this instead. And read a shower. <laughs> I... I guess that's a solution? Uh, think it might take a bit more, yeah? It's a borderline wasteland beneath these cheeks! Shut up! <laughs> she gave us another- I've never viewed these, I just know they exist. Oh gosh. That close up. Next time, I'll flush you away too. Well, sorry, Missy. Belfogor. Come on, man. We could have just hit up Gustav and got like a, you know. <laughs> telescope. <laughs> Ew, that's even grosser. <laughs> anyway, would you believe it? There's one more we can check out, but this time in Shinagawa. These things. Like, I tried to find these. It was tricky. Never did I think of all demons, Belphegor and Mermaid would be an encounter. I didn't even know you could fight mermaids in the wild. This next scene is equally as absurd with a Shikyoji on the battlefield and Belphegor. If you have a potty brain like I do, I think you know where this is going. Oh, you there. You have business with me? Your body's made of paper. This is perfect. Hey, might I ask a favor of you? Well, I certainly can't turn down a request for help. Go on then, what do you need? I've just run out of paper, you see. Would you mind if I use you instead? <laughs> what? Vile degenerate! I'll end you! Oh, well, that's not fair! Really laying to someone while they're on the job? <laughs> not... not fair. Uh, it goes against my nature to fight dishonorably. Whoa! That was a close one. Now then, if I could just bar your leg for a second... Enough of that, you filth! Use this if you must. All right, a purge charm. Oh, yeah, it's that could purge the poo away. <laughs> it's so vile. Will this be enough? That's some pretty intense blasts as of what That's disgusting. Ugh. Well, you gotta admit, Belfagor is a handy guy. He can definitely get what he wants. Now, I should warn you, that paper is thick. Don't blame me if that infernal toilet of yours gets clogged. Pig on. I did pretty good, boss. Yes, you def you definitely did, Belphegor. God, that was... <laughs> I wonder how the Shiki Oji in our party feels. But yeah, that is... God, I did not mean to bump into you. That is uh, all I wanted to view with Belphegor. Uh, do I recommend him as a party member? Yes! But not if you're using his essence already on your main character like I am. 
you just overlap the weaknesses like that, and it's just really no good. And you guys really aren't going to let me out? God dang it. Why? I'm definitely faster than you all. Jeez. Anywho, I'll just quickly get away here with uh, that little bit of uh, comedy, I guess you could say. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but you better believe me. I enjoyed it. No duh. Getting the dump out of here. And now I'm going to revert my save and get on with the real fusion I intend to do. With that out of the way, now it's Welcome time the for the main shots. attraction. For a while now, we've been lacking a sufficient healer demon in the party. It's been kind of rough. Sure, we did okay against Yakumo, but what about the next boss and the next boss? Well, I have the solution. The unfortunate side of things is, well, this is a very expensive fusion to pull off. Unless you happen to have a couple of the prerequisite demons lying around, which is somewhat unlikely. So, I'll be investing in the what Summoner's Hospitality Miracle, and I suggest you do the same. Especially if you're about to attempt this build. So, I've mentioned prior when she showed up that uh, Mushawu will be a good demon to get, especially if you get Boon Boost. And, well, we're about to pass on that skill yet again. The downside of this is, yeah, she's expensive. Even with the Summoner Hospitality Miracle, this is going to dent your maka. I don't care how much dough you're rolling in, but it'll definitely be worth it. The demon we're about to craft is borderline game-breaking, really. And I want to show her off. I don't even feel bad, dude. And I think we're actually capped on demons, so I won't be getting McCoy right away. But... Let's get into this. So it is a special fusion, and to unlock a special fusion, or at least get the hint that it exists, you have to first craft one of the prerequisites, and we've yet to do that. So we'll get started on that now with Ame no Azume. We're going to combine Pixie and Mushuwu to make this demon, and all things considered, she's not a bad demon. I just really didn't have a chance to use her. The only skill I really care about from this demon, and we're going to try and pass on like it's... I don't know, genetics or something, is Boon Boost. She's cute, though. I'm glad, uh, you know. They kind of retained the Japanese voice. Doesn't make sense, you know, because it's in an English game, but it adds a little bit of flavor. I'm down with it. And I guess technically less work for the localizers, but with that out of the way, now we're going to combine Sandman and Power, who hasn't really got a lot of action as of late, given that, well, He's sort of lagging behind. <laughs> I've only used him for that one abscess battle. I kind of feel bad about that. But we're going to make another goddess this time. The wife of the Hindu god Shiva, Parvati. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to put on her. Sukunda ain't bad. That's about it. We really just want to get this demon her next skill, which is Heal Fleroma, which obviously would be very nice for a healer to have. Pleased to meet you. If you squint, her, her like, you know, headdress thing there has pokeballs i like right. that but <laughs> right i think it's awesome the uh heal for Roma. it's not gonna make a huge difference but you never know what can help you out in a fight and i guess for the last fusion we'll just do reverse companion fusion no harm in doing that the this demon you could honestly go get like she's in shinagawa but i mean we're already here and we're already in this in deep <laughs> in dead. might as well go for it and I just honestly need any excuse to get rid of Dionysus. But in case you didn't get Dionysus, you could just go, you know, get the Huapo from Shinagawa. This will be a nice chance to pass on Sexy Dance, though, which this next demon could Is totally take advantage of if we got our a uh affinity up, which wouldn't really be that bad. We've been sitting on so many Sutra items for this whole game now, so now would definitely be a good time to invest with uh, your items, but with that, we have everything we need to summon Magami Idun, the goddess of youth in Norse mythology. Oh, you, you've met her. It's kind of an unforgettable demon, but legitimately, this demon is just so absurdly game-breaking. I'm hyping her up for good reason. She is good, dude. And it all comes down to her signature skill. I think these are the skills I want, but seriously, man, just read this. Golden Apple heals you and increases the stats of all allies for three turns. Not only is this a heal, but it's also the skill Luster Candy all at the same time. Sure, the MP cost is a little ridiculous, but if we get our healing skill potential up, 
that cost will go down and invest a little bit in her mana pool. It's a good combo. And she's just going to get better and better. On top of that, she's really good to have in combat because, well, don't really have a magic person. Not really. Hi there. Hi there. So she'll help us in that regard as well. I, uh, I'm looking forward to just showing how absurd this demon can get. And with that, we're pretty much done fusing. I've flushed a good ton of maca down the drain, but I think it'll definitely... It's like an investment for the future, okay? Now we're on easy street. And also, I can fight bosses at lower levels, which will make me super happy, since that's less leveling I gotta do. But uh, let's go ahead and use some of these stamina incenses on the correct target. There she is. I do get some MP increases. It's nothing really too substantial, but if you can get to the point where you can use three golden apples in a fight without using any uh, MP recovery, you're in a good spot. I'm also just going to use the Healing Sutra, because why the heck not? And uh, yeah, now our party's got a... B <laughs> we're, we're two, like, youthful girls in a Black Frost. It's quite the team, but uh, I'll actually put Idun right next to the main character. Makes more sense. And with that out of the way, now to uh, find a foe worthy for Idun to actually fight. There is a uh, really no fight she's particularly bad at, except for the duel against Yakumo, because, well, she's weak to electricity, which is kind of odd. You know, she's a Norse god. They got a bunch of thunder users, right? As we pick up Sukuna Hikuna's essence, that's kind of funny because what's about to happen. Hey, can you guys shut up? God dang dog's chasing me. Ooh. And again, I guess we're talking about animals. I don't think I can actually get out of here. We might have to use the return at, uh, totem. What a pain. I guess we'll look around. It's not really going to hurt, but our next objective is uh, a little bit close by. Is there anything over here? There's got to be at least one me man, right? Maybe? <gasps> yes, there is. I don't even know that. I guess it was my sixth sense. I almost said fifth sense, but there's a reason that movie is called the sixth sense. Akihabara is now in a taku dreamland. There used to be a big strip of hoop spots. Not a lot of young people believe, yeah? It's kind of funny. Somebody comes back after a long stay. Man, playing basketball in Japan was so fun. I can't wait to go back. Goes back. It's just God dang. Arcades. Figure stores. Not that I'm complaining. But I also like the b-ball. I've been working on them layups, yo. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm really not trying to uh, spend too much time trying to gather all the meme on. Since heads up, there will what the you came out of nowhere, bro. Oh, almost cut me off. Goodness, there's a fair bit of backtracking in this area. Not bad backtracking by any means. It's actually good, and I'm glad they put it in the game. But it's sort of backtracking just the same. Uh, is that the? Oh yeah, that's the item we need for McCoy. Do I get that? Now nah, save it for later. Screw it. Oh hey, it's you. Have you met Idun? She's ever so adorable. She wants to say hello, but she's shy. How sad. <laughs> what is that? What? I, I don't plan these, dude. How sad. I wanted to make a friend. Did the Kunutsukami have no intention of cooperating with Bethel? Hmm. I don't know. I. Why, why don't you ask them instead of me? Kind of odd. I think we heard about them before a handful of times. Oh yeah, that's what Sukuni Hikuna is. How about that? God dang it. Uh, my worst enemy's up ahead. <laughs> More ways than one. These Anzu are definitely a pain, but ah, God dang it. This is why we have Estoma, which is a skill I'm just reluctant to use for some reason. I really should have used it there. This might take a little bit. They're going crazy. Um. Oh no! I don't got hit, and god dang it, these Valkyrie, their whole goal is to actually protect I Dune. What gives, ladies? Jeez. No, you're the daughters of Odin, but gosh, this is rude. I uh, take this opportunity to just get the heck out of here with a smoke bomb, which I hope I have. I totally do. Later, suckers. And we're out. I uh, just do not want to fight those people. Jeez. Let's uh, go into our skills, though, and use an overworld skill, which is Estoma, and now we don't have to worry about him anymore. <laughs> it's a demon repellent. Just knocks him out instantly. Doesn't work against uh, Kaiju, though, in case you're curious. Where the heck did he go? I know he's in this... Oh, God damn. 
That one's really hard to, like, get a pin on it, or a bead on, I guess. But enough of that. Let's just press on and try and find that next ley line fountain. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's you. We meet again, huh? <laughs> this has, like, totally got to be destiny or whatever, right? <laughs> got to be. Unless you don't believe in that sort of stuff. Either way, perfect timing. We got business, you and I. Or, actually, I guess I just kind of need your help. You see, there's this big hole. Oh, uh... <laughs> uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. You're probably kind of busy anyway, <laughs> right? I just remembered I've got something important to do. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ, I thought my sexual advances were awkward. <laughs> uh, I guess Amanazako's in this region too. Who could have predicted this? But she's not the only fairy demon nearby. It's Kelpie. Heck you doing here, bruh? You, I guess, galloped a long way from the fairy forest. There you are. You're Johei, right? I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm that Kelpie from the village. Listen, I came all this way so I could talk to you about something. So the fairy village is probably the lushest place around. Lots of green compared to, well, other places. Well, lately the grass and trees and flowers don't look so good. I'm starting to worry they're all gonna wither up or die. I'm kind of an outsider of the fairies, but regardless, I don't wanna see the village disappear. Anyhow, I did my homework. Also unrelated, I learned that just about everything around here, from the demons to the plants, depends on Magatsuhi. And with that, I want to ask you to bring me Giri Makala's head. How... How is that related at all? Isn't it obvious, man? Come on! I'm gonna use the head to make it rain! I'm gonna use a Giri Mikala's big, trunky head, like a watering can, and treat the plants to a much needed shower. Little Magatsuhi ran, and I'm sure they'll perk right up. So he yell meow. Uh, so we're gonna decapitate a guy to flower, to water some flowers? You know what? You're crazy. I'm in, let's do it. Thanks. There's definitely a Giri Mikala or two somewhere in Shinagawa. They got a real noggin on them. So they should be able to hold up plenty of water. Well, all the way in here. Remember, Gary me call his head. Nobody else. Count on ya. All right, so we finally have our breadcrumb quest to take care of that abscess. Not abscess, that uh, giant mother effing demon in Shinagawa. You may remember the elephant dude? Yeah, that's him. Legitimately love this quest. It's so absurd. Yeah, you're gonna just sever a demon's head, take it with you, and use it like a watering can to help all the trees. How funny we got Kelpie on the loading screen. <laughs> oh goodness, his teeth look really uh funny there in that picture, but it's just so absurd. However, it is also a great did I heal up? Oh no, I didn't. Uh in that case, I guess I'll use some items. This is absolutely a great opportunity though to show off what Eh, so I'm not going to waste an ox bazaar. That's just stupid. Uh, in hindsight, I shouldn't have used those items, but... I do can really do some work here, which is why I wanted to fuse her now. I wanted to make her a long time ago, but... Uh, and it's like, eh, why don't you use her against stinking Yakumo? And the amount of times that Yakumo is just like, BE GONE! And just sliced her in one hit. God, it was too numerous to count. Okay, that's a bit of hyperbole, but you get what I'm saying. I just went in a giant circle. Where the is it? This, why is it this hard to giant, find a giant goddamn elephant? But while we're in the area, might as well pick up some Imon that we're missing. And with that out of the way, I think we've almost done everything we can in Shinagawa, which is good. We still have to backtrack a little bit in Minato, take care of those Suling. But seems Lamu's been slain. Gonna be that demon hunter? Unlikely. Others said it was some demon they'd never seen before. 
What could it be? Hmm. Uh, I don't know where you get your facts from, buddy, but I ain't no demon. Last time I checked, but yeah, he's right over here. I don't see a way this fight could fail unless he gets really, really lucky with some status effects, but now that we're level 44, we should definitely be strong enough to take this guy on. I'm still a little scared, though. I don't know. I'm going to, um... Hmm. Who can we bring here? If we get rid of Black Frost, we'll technically be out of Mata Rakaja. Succubus is good, but nah, not that good. Let's just try it. Oh, god dang! What the? That hitbox! Here he comes! Giri Mikawa! Luckily, he's a little bit on the slow side. I like that. This demon. Vile Race. 46. He is beefy. On top of this, he has the very special characteristic of reflecting physical damage. So this is also why you'd want one of the Draco Strikes, ideally. He hurts, also. But I do hurt some more. Her just ability to buff us all as well is pretty good. In hindsight, yeah, I didn't need to bring Black Frost to this at all because we have Idun. She just almost power creeps other characters. It's kind of messed up, but we're going to just pass again. And what does she have? Bull of Hygiene might be good. In case you're curious, this grants us extra HP if she overheals us. So I'll set this up just in case we need it. And I don't know how she's doing. The, the apples look a like absolute. Oh, frick. She almost got one shot. Jesus Christ. It's a good thing I set up that uh, effect, actually. But legit, look at this. Not her, like, recoiling pain, but her golden apples legit look red in this lighting. Oh, she looks so sad. God damn. <laughs> I guess a uh, similar effect with, um, you know, Alice. Come to think of it, I don't know if Alice can even do much here. Let's, oh, defense is actually kept all the way down, though. That's ideal. Let's go for some Sakanagis, and dang, boy! These crits are crazy. And now it's time for her signature move, which she got only 107 MP now. Not bad, as she continues to level. It'll get even higher, but look at that heal percent! Absurd! And it's only going to get better. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> it's the goofiest animation. I'm sorry, it's so, like, overkill. I'm sure some people like it, though, but... Yeah, it's definitely going for a certain uh, demographic, but that increase to all of our stats will last for four turns. It's good, dude. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, Alice here doesn't really have a lot of options. In case you're curious, Giri Mekala may be able to fully reflect our physical attacks, but in SMT5, he's weak to a variety of different elements. Zahn, Hama, and uh, also electricity. Outside of that, though, he really just specializes in the physical sides of things, and he's going for another physical spam. I legitimately don't know if we can survive this. Our main character will be fine, but... Alice is so fragile, I just don't know. Why do we have Alice here? Oh yeah, for debuffs, but we'll just try our best. As always, I try to do, wait, what am I saying? We're tearing this dude up in the grand scheme of things. Jeez, I think, um, uh, let's see, who do we, who do we do? <laughs> we could bring in Shiki OG, that actually be totally fine, but no. I'll try and see if Succubus can live a hit. Let's go. If not, uh, we probably will lose, cause he'll just kill all my other demons, but. Uh, to prepare for that, I guess Omatarunda would not be an awful idea. Sure, he'll get two turns, but as long as they're, like, really puny attacks, it's not the end of the world, and... Yeah, outside of that, he's just kind of an HP sponge? I'm cool with it, though. I, uh, I think, hmm. We could actually use another debuff here. Yeah, this is, this is great. Okay, yeah. So... We should ideally dodge. Everyone's agility's pretty high. Here comes Deathbound! No! Holy crud. Oh my god. Th this is absurd. Homie, what's your deal? He's going nuts. Okay, he did not go for his... Um... Jesus. Oh yeah, I forgot Succubus does not have the um HP increase of all the other demons, but... Yeah, that's, that's Deathbound, baby. If it actually connects, unlike how it, you know, went down with Yakumo... Pretty deadly. I thought we could, like, at least dodge once with all of our characters. Well, not all of our characters, but the majority of our characters having their agility raised, but that was not the case. Um, God dang it. I know I said I increased her um, MP just so that we wouldn't have to do this, but I guess I did pop off a little bit with some uh, Zanmas. I'm going to skip Naholbino's turn and just uh, heal us up again with Golden Apple. 
that is a max heal, but we did lose the bowl of Hydrea now, or Hygiena. Fun fact, that is the where the symbol for pharmacy comes from. It's a Greek thing. Learned that today. You're learning so much, hopefully, from this series. About Greece and nothing else. <laughs> I guess, you know, Hinduism to some extent, but... This charade has gone on long enough, Giri Mikala. You're no longer the seed of your master. I'm gonna ride you like a second... Uh, I need to end this sentence very carefully. I can't think of a way to end. I cannot salvage this. But uh, with the crit and... Oh my god. Yeah, that's... Keep in mind, her affinity with, you know... Zahn, not even that strong. She's hitting for massive damage. Uh, speaking of hitting for massive damage, please don't hit us, Black Frost. He may get confused and actually hit Girimi Kala. No! What? Oh, we get a pre I planned that, dude. We got an extra press turn. Not that I really needed it, but uh, yeah, hopefully now you're seeing the power of Idun. She can get even better because she is a special fusion, by the way. This is like definitely on the cheap side as far as her fusions go, but uh, yeah, I got a lot to say about that girl. You're going to see her a lot. And, uh, <laughs> totally, I'm down. Oh, my goodness. I'll get rid of, uh, Mary and Karen, because having both that and Sexy Dance is kind of overkill. And here you go. Hope you like it. Oh, thank you. My favorite. <laughs> Hopefully, it's my favorite flavor. But, uh, but that taken care of, an unusual forecast is now ready to turn in. And I think that should just wrap it up for this episode. A uh, couple of different things. I think this episode had a little bit of variety. Took down the uh, Abscess boss, fused a very unnecessary demon, and now we have our healer for a good chunk of the game added to the party. A lot more coming up next time, though. We're getting really close to our confrontation with, well, the creator of that firewall. And I think I'll make that my goal for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. More Shemagami Tensei 5. Bye.